from the uh, Scorpion mine in Namibia. Now, mining at this mine ceased in 2020, one of the world's largest zinc mines at the time. We have a matrix pretty similar, uh, typical to this uh, locality, and sitting on there is a very, uh, uh, first of all, the, the grey or black material would be the heterolite. And this has been coated by a thin layer of druzy quartz crystal. So what you see just over the heterolite would be druzy quartz. And sitting on this are these lovely uh, smithsonite crystals. Little cubes, almost botryoidal looking, but it's a whole lot of cubes which form together to, to appear like botryoids. From a display point of view, oh, and we have a, a section at the back here. I just want to uh, uh, lose a bit of the color. There you can see the, the colors of the, the smithsonite from the scorpion mine are very light, going from a blue into a green. So you'll see very fine shades of color. This is a pretty solid section of the smithsonite. I prefer this uh, point of display though, where you have these tiny smithsonite crystals sitting on the matrix. Uh, can be displayed this way around too. This is also rather appealing. I actually thought of breaking the lip off, but somehow it's it's quite appealing from was it from this angle? Just like that. I'd actually display it like this. But of course, not to forget about this lovely um, uh, section over here, which is a solid mat of the smithsonite, quite unlike the other side of the specimen, where you have the little smithsonites perched on the matrix of quartz and heterolite.